is Emily and I'm here today at the London Pain Clinic with one of the doctors, Dr Jenna. And today we're going to talk about piriformis syndrome. So Dr Jenna, can you tell me a little bit more about piriformis syndrome? So piriformis syndrome is a type of uh, pain. It's a type of musculoskeletal pain. And the main issue is the piriformis muscle, which is a small muscle in the middle of the buttock. And uh, what happens is this, this uh, muscle it sits on top of the sciatic nerve. And if it becomes irritated or uh, goes into spasm or uh, damaged, injured, that sort of thing, it can cause irritation to the sciatic nerve underneath. Um, and uh, patients generally come along, their, their history um, is of having leg pain, but traditionally we look at it as leg pain in the absence of back pain. Because mostly when patients have pain in the leg, the very first thing you think of is, aha, does this patient have sciatica? Is it coming from their spine? Do they have a, a prolapse of the disc or do they have an issue um, around the nerve roots in the spine that's causing this nerve pain? Whereas with piriformis syndrome, it is very specifically this muscle in the middle of the buttock. And investigations into piriformis syndrome, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Ultimately, you're, you're trying to make sure that there's no cause in the lumbar spine for that person's sciatica. Now, if that MRI scan comes back normal and they have tenderness in the middle of the buttock, then you are thinking along those lines that it may be piriformis syndrome. The other thing that we do tend to do is um, an MRI scan specifically of the pelvis to look specifically at the piriformis muscles. And that can be very useful sometimes because in some patients uh, they have, uh, the piriformis is not just one muscle but it may be divided into two or three muscles and they actually have uh, slings of muscle, as it were, around the sciatic nerve. And that's quite rare, but that we do see that. And um, treatment options, what would you be looking at? So always when we uh, treat patients, the number one thing is, can we treat this patient as conservatively as possible? Can we use the minimal amount of uh, uh, treatment to, to sort them out? Um, one treatment that we do a lot of is to do what we call an image guided injection with Botox. Um, so we will bring the patient in, um, we can do that in outpatients or we can do it in the hospital under a little bit of sedation and uh, what we do is we, uh, we examine uh, the buttock, we examine the piriformis muscle clinically so we palpate out uh, where the tenderness is. Um, we draw where it is um, on, on the patient with a skin marker. Um, we'll then have a look at the muscle using an ultrasound um, so we can look down and actually see the muscle uh, itself. Um, and then we have a technique where we use uh, a nerve stimulator. So we put some local anaesthetic in the skin to, to numb it. And then we put a tiny little probe down to the piriformis muscle and when we get inside the piriformis muscle, it's stimulated, so it has a characteristic twitch when you get inside it. And once we're inside the muscle, um, we can inject um, uh, solutions, and what we usually use is long-acting local anaesthetic, the Botox, which we often use, and sometimes we will use some liquid steroids, something like dexamethasone as well. So the idea of that sort of cocktail, you know, the, the solution, is um, the local anaesthetic will, will relax it, it will um, you know, reduce any acute discomfort. The Botox really is there to relax the muscle uh, and reduce the spasm. Uh, and uh, the liquid steroid is really there as, a, as an anti-inflammatory type activity. The main benefits are pain relief. It takes about 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, the risks of the procedure are minimal. Um, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort. Um, very occasionally with the Botox, people can get irritation of the muscle, which may last for a couple of days. Um, people do worry a lot about um, uh, paralysis of the muscle. And yes, you can get weakness for a few weeks, four to six weeks. 
but generally you have to balance uh, the benefit in terms of pain relief from using the procedure against any sort of weakness. And if, even if patients do have a bit of weakness, uh, it will wear off after a, you know, a few weeks. Thank you for watching and thank you to everyone at the London Pain Clinic. If you would like any more information about what you've seen or to book an appointment, then please visit the website www.londonpainclinic.com.